Welcome to another episode of Cocktails and Curtain Calls. I'm Matt Austin. And I am Beth Young. And for the next half an hour or so, we are going to talk with Vicki Sosi and Jane Farnall about their production, their virtual production of Henry V coming up next weekend, Saturday, right? Am I right on that? Saturday? Thursday the 21st. Oh, so I was so close. Thursday the 21st. Okay, well, great. So, so I, I, I have to say, is this entirely virtual? Nobody is in the theater? This is all being done? Nobody's in the theater. Nine actors are in their homes. And we've been rehearsing via Zoom and telephonic one-on-one -on -one rehearsals. And it's, it's been a blast. It's, um, it's so resourceful of you. That's so great. Well, not really. It, it sort of, it, it came out of the ether. It came as an idea to tap into the times, these awful times. And Lou wanted something for the Brookfield audience um, to provide entertainment while they're there, you know. And what better entertainment than Shakespeare? having had a wonderful success last year with Macbeth, in which we have Lady Macbeth sitting right over there. But so Shakespeare was the obvious choice and what, it, it's an allegory. It's a very shortened version. It comes in at about 45 minutes, 45, 50 minutes. Oh, wow. Lots, lots of cutting. <laughs> um, but it's very accessible and you have Henry and his small forces against the French who are the much bigger forces, armies. And what we're doing is all the actors are going to be in um, scrubs with masks and sirens and helicopters and, and uh, nurses and people banging things on their balconies. So it, it's, um, it's a perfect fit for the time. Very clever. That's very. I am so impressed with that. So, who's in your cast besides Vicky? You're. Are you, you are playing Catherine? No, I am actually playing the Dauphin. So I am oh. playing. Yes, a uh, the little French kind of. Um, French sort of, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So it's kind of fun. This that's the been the really kind of cool thing about doing some of these virtual, uh, theatrical things is some of the gender bending and you know creative casting and getting to do things that you may normally not get to do on a traditional stage. So it's kind of fun, you know, That's to play great. a character like this. That's great. Yeah. So, so who else is in your cast? Well, we have a marvelous guy um, who I didn't know before, Rob Sniffin. Do you know him, Matt? I went to high school with him. He was one of my good friends in high school. Yeah, no I way. love him. He's absolutely <laughs> super. And he's playing Henry. And then we have John Taylor playing the Duke of Exeter. We have Sean Latassa playing the Constable of France. And we have Thomas Samuels playing the chorus, which of course is even more important in this version as he sets the scene as to what's going on. That's five. We have Vicky. Then we have Joy. How do you pronounce her last name? Tagli. Tagli Avento. Tagli Avento. Yeah. And then we have, who have I left out? Oh, and then we have a Miss Kira Sosby playing Catherine, the Princess of France. Ah, oh, nice. French. And beautifully, beautifully. Yes. I've left somebody out, Vicky. Who have I left out? Lou and Ron. Lou Oko playing Queen Isabel and Ron Maliska playing Charles, the King of France. That's nine, yeah. I think that's everybody, yeah. Here's a question for both of you. Uh, hopefully it comes through with my internet. Um, for Vicky, how is it acting on Zoom or acting online? And for Jane, how is it directing a show like this online? Whoever could. Okay. Can... okay. Um, it, it's different. I mean, that that's for sure. I miss, obviously, the interaction with the other actors. Um, you don't really get that personal connection, but um, it's been fun just to have this outlet 
and to be able to do it. This is a staged reading. So we're, you know, we're still kind of have the scripts in hand, which is kind of fun. And, but getting used to doing it in this type of medium too, where you have to look at where you're focusing and making sure that your face is visible. And so there's other technical aspects to it that you don't have to deal with when you're actually on stage. But um, it's, it's been a lot of fun. And just, I think everybody is connecting again and just being able to see the people that you've done stuff with and just kind of laugh and have some fun. It's, it's, it's been therapeutic. Yes. Very therapeutic. Yeah. Very. Absolutely. As to directing it, um, my ear got very stiff from holding the telephone. As <laughs> I, I had these long rehearsals with each actor, <laughs> singly, you know, <laughs> them reading all their speeches, correcting pronunciation, and and just saying, you know, pick up the pace or slow it down or whatever. Um, but I like telephones, except for my ear that went numb. But um, it, was, it was great fun. And then last Saturday, finally seeing them all together on a screen like this, you know, nine little spaces, was just amazing. And apart from Vicky's audio problems, <laughs> <laughs> um, everybody did marvelously. And the, you have to get used to talking into the camera, you know, yeah. like you're talking to somebody. We have a marvelous yeah. technical guy down at Brookfield, Stephen Sihanik. Yeah. And he's going to do the recording on, we're going to record it on Saturday. You were right about that. Um, but then it'll go up the following Thursday. Um, but Stephen is going to, you know, I guess, angle things that so looks like people are talking to each other. In oh, this nice. Case, there's, there's a lot of monologues. You've got things like Once More Into the Breach, and you've got Oh, for a muse of fire. So they're just looking straight at the camera. But when like Kira is talking to Henry and he's wooing her, you know, it needs to look like they're, they're relating to each other. So I'm hopeful that Stephen can do all of that. That's why we didn't want to live stream it because you don't really have any control. I do have to say just a um, situation pull a script together and she did the same thing for us for Macbeth is you know she cut it and worked it down into a um a manageable time slot and what she's done with this is comedy because it just wasn't time who said it's got to come in under an hour so I very much went for what it didn't seem right to be funny at this time. So I just went for Henry's battle. You can think of it as a battle with the virus, or you can think of it as a battle with the you know, and his tenacity and his um the wonderful thing about him, of course, how he changes from Prince Hal in Henry IV when he's just this serious king who's leading his armies. Um, it, it's really, it's Maybe. neat. I love it. I love to do it. You're Maybe. doing it now. Yes. <laughs> uh, I just was interested, how did you manage, or, or not, or choose not to have any kind of movement as you, in, in the frames? Is there, is everyone Everybody's to see you out? And you don't really, at least it didn't bother me on Saturday at our first Zoom rehearsal. Um, it didn't bother me that they weren't moving because um, they were all close enough in the frame. And because, as I said, there are so many monologues when the characters are talking to the audience. So they're talking to the audience. It, it, in the scene, the wooing scene with Catherine and Henry and a, and a little bit in the, in Kira's previous scene as a princess when she's talking in French about her hand and her elbow and her ear and and all of that needs a little bit of movement but right. not a lot no don't right. need a lot there's enough room for expression when the when the monologues are being done is is then there a single uh -huh. frame that so okay that that's very effective right there to be able to 
is. Yeah. When Thomas Samuels, he, he was back in Macbeth. Moon over, uh, over Buffalo. Yeah, he yeah. was a uh, call, right? Yes. Yeah. Um, he's, he's, he's a lovely actor, but he's very intense. And so he's looking right at the camera. <laughs> And oh, for a muse of fun, I got goosebumps. I thought, oh, this is going to work. Yeah. So. That's great. That's just making it happen. I just love that. That's terrific. So, well, yeah. Well, go ahead, Jane. What were you going to no, say? Just hoping that it will give people just, you know, a little bit of interest in this time. Absolutely. I think, I, I mean, it can't not, you know, it just, oh, that reminds me. So tell me, how do we access it? Is it, how do we get it on our goal? I think, uh, this is what Lou told me. Where did I write it down? Um, Brookfieldtheatre.org is their website, but it should go immediately, like you do, Matt, to YouTube. Okay. If it's, oh, okay. If it's like, yeah, they did a, they did a live stream of monologues two weeks ago and um, that you could actually go through the Brookfield website and there was a link on the website and it brought you to the YouTube page, I guess. And then it's going to be stored up on YouTube and okay. yeah, which I found the monologues the other day. Just if you do a little search, you can find them out there, but um, I think under, you can just... Under Brookfield Theater? A search under Brookfield Theater? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. that's where the last two have been, I think. So, so how many rehearsals have there been? Well, <clears throat> I started about three weeks ago and it took me four days to cut it. Just tearing my hair out. <laughs> Look so thin. <laughs> but that's what you do, Jane, you're an editor. So <laughs> that's what you do. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm an indexer. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> so then I had the nine characters one-on-one, -on -one. I, I slotted them in. Okay, you're at one, you're at seven, you're at one, you're at seven, through last week. Some days there were three of them. Um, and then the one Zoom rehearsal all together. But they've all been doing work at home. You can tell when people do work at home. And they had. Um, it was very fluent. They weren't stumbling over their words. And apart from a few pronunciations like, Rouen or Dauphin, you know. Um, and of course, I don't insist for, uh, on an English accent because I've always said American actors can do Shakespeare just as well as English. Yes, we can. He's a case in point. <laughs> clearly, clearly. <laughs> so just, I just. No, so it wasn't that much rehearsal. I was, I mean, the one on ones were, oh, maybe we talk for half an hour, 45 minutes. And um, depending on the size of the role depending if we have to go back you know and, and they're all pros you know john taylor's been around for well he's he's a pro you know they're all pros. i mean it's it's the same as we would do any other staged reading basically yeah, you is, know basically. yeah have a couple yeah. of uh read-throughs and then you're good to go so. right if we were sitting at the theater on yeah. our moon buffalo the set <laughs> we were beth and i were talking in our one of our first episodes of this um that was Probably the last thing, was that the last thing you saw, Beth, before this all went down? It was the last thing I saw, Moon Over Buffalo, and we really, yeah. really enjoyed it. Yeah. yeah. Well, maybe. Uh, oh, I am keeping my fingers crossed that they'll bring it back. Uh, you know, I think with just everything going, the theater is not going to really have an opportunity. No, no theater is going to have an opportunity to audition or rehearse until later in the year. So. The set's still there. Our costumes are all still hanging, from what I understand. So, you know, <laughs> just dust them off a little bit. To, we'll get to come back. That's it. <laughs> Bring those scripts out. Little rehearsal, real quick, and we'll be back up and it running. It was great fun. It, it was really great. Fun. It was great fun. It really, really was. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, I just, just, I just want to go back to the costumes. So you have everyone in scrubs and masks. Everyone in scrubs and masks. Not not masks over the mouth. We'll just have oh, them hanging. Oh gosh, no, they'll be around our necks, you know. No, hanging not, around our necks. So get Shakespeare out with masks. Yeah. So you. PPE um, <laughs> is the costume. Yeah. And if if people don't, people seem to have something like a scrub at home. But Lou said to them, "Well, if you don't, you know, get a garbage bag because that's what some of them were doing. Some of the nurses were doing." And I don't know where that quite came from. It just sort of came to me as if we are going as an allegory for the times, then why not 
take it a bit further into people looking like the people we see on the TV news every night. And then in the in-between scenes, which need a bit of something, why not a siren here or a helicopter here or, you know, a bunch of nurses singing there or something. There's always a lot of beeping in the ICU, right? Beeping. Oh, yes, we've got that. Yes. 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 <laughs> Lou's got a wonderful backdrop, but I don't know if your technology can do it. I know Sean's can't. It's a backdrop of a, um, I was going to say hotel, hospital room. You know, a hallway with the blood pressure machines and all of that. And, uh, but I thought she could do it universally behind you all, but I don't think she can. So it's going to depend on you guys, whether you're set up. Oh, if she just, yeah, if she sends us the picture, we can all drop it in as a backdrop. You can? Mm -hmm. Really? Yes. She makes that sound so easy, doesn't she? <laughs> <laughs> this is only my second Zoom, and I'm so pleased with myself. <laughs> it's an accomplishment. You should be. Well, be. that being said, Jane, and hopefully we're on stages and in theaters sooner rather than later, but any plans to maybe do another one of these or something else? Haven't given it much thought, but one could, couldn't one? It's true. Yeah. <laughs> one could keep doing this till the cows come home. Yeah. As long I, as I keep being involved, <laughs> that's just the only caveat I have to be included <laughs> You're yeah. always included, my dear. I'm not <laughs> sure I could cut another Shakespeare. That was, um, it was a fascinating chore, but it was a hair tearing out chore, you know, to try and make it flow. Macbeth yeah. was much easier. This this was harder. You mean to slice and dice the script to get it to slice flow? Slice and dice, yeah. yeah. Without seeming choppy. Yeah. yeah. But I, I, I can imagine. I can imagine that was quite challenging. It was. It didn't seem choppy to you, did it, Vicky, on Saturday? No. No, no, I didn't think No, that. I think you're brilliant. It was brilliant. Somebody said that. Well, it's everybody's brilliant. too kind. No, 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 no. And I just, it, I have to say, I have just a complete admiration for the effort here and, and just the, the, the thoughtfulness of putting this together. I think it's, it's wonderful and the whole idea of just keeping theater alive in whatever way you can yeah. is so important. Well, all credit, all credit for that goes to Lou Ockel and her dear husband, Andy, as wanting something for their patrons that um, would be not to put down monologues at all, because I love monologues, but to put a real production together. Yeah. That was her first thing was, What could we do as a production? Uh, could we do a Shakespeare and did have some ending? And could it be finally? And it's just, it's just, and uh, she's getting all these sound effects together. It's going to so be great. We'll I can't see. wait. I'm actually so excited because it's just it's a whole new venue in a way, and and just an exciting way to do it. And when you talk about the interaction between how to make and that's so new and so clever so, so pretty exciting i mean you know necessity is the mother of invention right so this is what you do well we're terribly lucky with stephen down there because he he's just super in the technical um department um but it's fun it's really been fun and just being with people because one is with people yeah you know even though you're on this silly screen it's still you it's, it's community and that's, yeah yeah that's so important but i just yeah i just think it, it's terrific um and i i think that your entire team is amazing you know from every lou and andy and you and your cast and everybody involved is i, I think you know the energy that that's apparent and that will be apparent in the production. What was so fascinating was when I called everybody up and said, I've got a little theatrical project. Would you be interested? Unanimously, not a hesitation. Everybody said, oh yeah, come in, come in. Uh, that's great, that's great. I'm excited. So, so let me just, let's, can we just go over the schedule one more time? Yeah. 
What's that? Did you say no? <laughs> <And show her. laughs> Absolutely not, Beth. That's no. it. You got nope. to get it once and we're not Delete. doing it again. <laughs> 95. Oh. Wrote it down. <laughs> Thursday is the taping of it. Well, just explain we're to me again where we are. Thursday, Saturday. We have one more rehearsal Saturday. We're going to tape Sunday afternoon and then it'll be broadcast on the 21st. Okay. Okay. I got it. Yeah. I got it. So we can tune in Thursday, but we can also see it anytime after that. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yep. That's great. And That's Thursday the 21st is the anniversary of my daddy's birthday. Oh, oh I didn't know that. I think it's good luck. Absolutely. 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 That's and then, Beth, you can watch it 10 times if you want. To. It's and true. I might want to be because I'm going to study this technique. I think it's, <laughs> and you know what? We're going to have to do this as long as we have to do this. So, you know, you're, you're revolution theater right the here. Play, the play, the adaptive to this that we can do again. To this yes. time in these events? Or Oh, yeah, I can do that. I, you know I'm okay, a no? Right, yes. Yeah. So, so, yeah. <laughs> we'll try to put something together. Excellent. Yeah, and it, but either at the beginning or at the end, I said, could you put in dedicated to Dr. Robert Kloss, who was my oncologist, and Jim King, RN, who was A, my very dear friend from years ago, but also my oncologist nurse for the last three months. So it's oh, dedicated that's... to Dr. Kloss and Jimmy. And so that sort of goes along with the whole right. thing. It's brilliant, as usual. I think it's great. I can't wait to see it. It's Whenever exciting. It. I can't wait to see it all put together, too. I think it's going to be really Give suggestions. We'll do more. Yeah, absolutely. Has to have a good part for her. <laughs> That's it. That's the requirement. We won't. We won't read it if it doesn't have a good part. She for doesn't me. have a good role. Forget it. <laughs> when I called her up and said, um, "Would you mind playing a man?" I said, "He's a opinionated, insolent, cheeky, really rather nasty young man." And she said, "Perfect. I'd love it." <laughs> <laughs> but fun. I mean, that's fun. That's great. That's yep. great. Good. Good. Your hair up, right? Yes, hair will be up. Well, we've been almost. This is your guys. Uh, you're going to be our and, longest and that's episode. My daughter um, has a very short haircut, and so she. The only thing she's not happy about oh. is she has to wear a wig. So, because she has to, you know, she's a princess, so she has to wear the longer wig. So she's but not, you know, she, she loves her mind, short haircut, and so. Oh, she no, yeah. she's fine with it. But you know, at first it was like. Well, <laughs> what the color of my hair? But you know what? Next one will be. She'll be yeah. Yes. Cell, she can show up. She's fourteen. How old is your daughter? Well, Vicky told me she was a third-year honors French student. I went, oh my gosh, <laughs> am I blessed? Yeah. And then shortly thereafter, Lou said that Joy, whose name I can't pronounce, sorry, Joy, was also fluent in French. I went. What is this? This is somebody up there. Is Car it was just meant to be. Good. Well, keep us informed. Yeah. We will, we will be there. Um, yeah. We yeah. Will, yeah. I was just, I'm going to see if I can write something about what you're doing. Let's great. See. Yeah. That'd yeah. be great. Ask them if we can put something in. We don't. They're not printing the B anymore right now. They're on a break from doing that, so it'd be online. But that's the start. That works. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Yeah. I think I think Waterbury's doing an article online. I think oh. comes out this Thursday. Oh, that's yeah. great. That's oh, that great. would be super, Beth. Yeah, we'll try. We'll spread the word. Perfect. And we'll, this will be up. So yes. We'll be, yes. This will be up. Yeah. So, yeah. Great. great. Well, well, thank you guys for coming. We're, we're thank so happy you that you're here. Thank you so much for having us. Wonderful to see you guys. Yeah. yeah. It's nice to see faces. <laughs> almost done almost exactly. um, with get off. <laughs> <Bye>. <laughs> All right. Bye, everybody. Take care. Bye.
Bye.